right. Okay, Samantha J. How can you learn to stay self-motivated and ambitious without being too critical of yourself? Well, you know, it depends on how you're going to talk to yourself, right? I mean, uh, sometimes we think that we motivate by derogating, where it's like, okay, you're worthless. Get up. Come on. And I had coaches that way when I was in football. Uh, I had coaches that were that way. They would, ch they would try to challenge you in that way, and that never worked for me. And, and you've got to be your own best friend. And I think for every thought you have, there's a physiological event that goes along with it. And if the thought you have is you're worthless, you're no good, come on, get up and do something different, well, the worthless and no good has an impact, and it, and it hurts your self-confidence. As opposed to saying, look, you're better than what you're doing. You deserve to have a, a, a great life. You deserve to have a, a raise or a better job or a better life. So claim that. Get up. Be the best that you can be. That kind of dialogue to me is so much more positive and just as motivational uh, as getting on yourself and kicking you. I, always had, I, I grew up in sports and always mm -hmm. had coaches. You know, they would get down there and say, you're worthless, come on, get up, you worthless, no good, why'd your daddy ever feed you? Well, I, I don't know, I guess he Did thought I was hungry. I, no, it didn't, it just made me try to get away from that big mouth coach. Yeah.